Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to have you either way. Today we have the Clear Jelly Stamper Spring Mega Mystery Box. I hope I said that correctly. I'm hauling this a little bit late. I'm not sure if they still have it in stock, but if they do, then great. And if they don't, then I'm sure that there's a lot of great stuff in here. So I'm just gonna open it up and pull everything out. So the first two things on top, maybe three, actually now that I'm seeing this, um, are the things that I ordered that were not a part of the mystery box. So I'll just go through that first. Um, this first thing that I have here is a uh, builder number 372 to the moon. Uh, this one I got because of Talia. If you've never watched Talia's nail studio, I think is what it's called now. Um, she does some really, really amazing work and she works a lot with Clear Jelly Stamper and um, Coco and Claire. Um, but this is one that she suggested for nail art. I can't remember what it was if she was doing like marbles with this one, um, but this one is to the moon. It's a gray builder. And then this one here I got because it was on sale. This is number 237, getting figgy with it. So beautiful purple glitter if you can see. So I'll test these out and let you guys know. And then the next thing that I got was on sale, if I remember correctly, this is CGS V12. I don't know what the name is of this one, but I thought that this would be great for next Valentine's Day and it was on a really good sale. So I was like, why not? I really like this XOXO. I really like all of these hearts here. I like that, you know, the way that they have it with like the pink and the red. So this is very pretty. And then here is what the actual plate looks like. Really, really pretty. So much that you could do with this, even if not for Valentine's Day, if you want to just add some hearts or like these bows are really popular right now. So happy to have that. The next thing in the bag I thought was so cute. It's a bunny bag and there's stuff inside. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this bunny bag. Let's see, could fit some stuff in there. But it looks like it came with the stamping polish kit. This is Chickadee 2750. So some beautiful pastel colors. This one here, let's take this up. Uh, this one here is number 232, beautiful pastel -y blue. Oh gosh, this is really hard to open. So that is number 232. Honestly, great for this time of year. We're past Easter, which is about when I got this and I wish I'd opened it up sooner because, oh my gosh, these would have been perfect stamping colors. This one is number 233. And then this one is number 234. Just beautiful, like these go together so well. And then the, oh, beigey one, 235. This would have been good if it was a green. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then the plate that came inside is one that I almost picked up. They've been doing these like, I don't know how you would say this. I, I just call this like Fallout characters. If you know the video game Fallout, um, but this is H07. They've been doing a whole bunch of stuff like this. They did a collection like this, not a collection. It was like two plates, I think, um, at Christmas time. So this is CJS H107. And look how cute these bunnies and chicks and some sheep. So it's been all of this like groovy stuff. And then here's what the plate looks like. I love being able to see a whole bunch of different outlines because I love doing reverse stamping and watercoloring and stuff like that. And there's so much that you can do on here, but really, really like the inspo that they gave there. And then the next thing that we have in here is a plate holder. I've been really enjoying getting these, trying to make sure that I'm organizing my plates well. So it has these ones here for the big ones and then I'm sure there's some sleeves. They almost always include the sleeves in there. Um, but this is a great way to organize your stamping plates. I'm actually wondering if I should transition from storing them in these binders to um, storing them like upright or something because these only hold I think like 20 plates or something. But um, we'll see, I don't know. And then it looks like we have another set in here. I really enjoy getting all of these stamping polishes in the uh, kits here because they're usually pretty curated. And also stamping polish is a little bit expensive from Clear Jelly. So this looks like a bunch of purples. Let's see what it says on the back. Yeah, Purplicious. Um, so this one is number 152. Beautiful, deep, almost like gray purple. 
they need a good shake as you can see and then this one here is number 153 this one's beautiful this one wow really really great for this time of year nice and pastel -y. and then the next one we have here is number 154 another really beautiful color and then this next one is number 155 so they don't go in order oh yeah they do oh my gosh 152 one, oh, okay okay so this was definitely a collection that they did intentionally i love this color so much this is yeah kind of like the acrylic that i have the acrylic is from two guys nails i can't remember the name of it and then it looks like we have another this might be the last of the stamping polishes but still like so many stamping polishes so this one is 2525 small polish kit and then whatever they have on the back they took out Let's see this oh this is the new one i think so as you can see they're all like this like iridescent wow okay so at i'm gonna have to figure out what at means <gasps> These are so gorgeous and pearly. Honestly, I'm going to need to look at some inspo with these. AT02, this is more like yellowy. This one's more like pinky. But I'm going to have to look at some inspo with these and figure out how other people have been using them. And then number four. This one looks a little bit like more greeny. Wow, that is so pretty. And then this one, I'm guessing, yeah, more blue. This is number five, AT05. I wonder this would probably be good for snowflakes like do like a dark blue on the bottom and then that on top this one looks like more gold this is number three so i guess they weren't in order i guess more yellow i don't know again i'm gonna look at some inspo with this and see how other people have been using it so let's get to some of the plates here some of these i think i have so the great thing is that they gave me oh, okay 14 by 9, 10 pack. Oh, so this is another package of the large ones. I'm going to have to see because you can fit 20 plates in the regular binders, but I want to see if I can like double stuff them. Um, that would be really convenient. Oh my gosh, there's still so many goodies in here. Okay, so let's take a look at these plates here. So we have this tiny one here. I don't want to open it because I feel like I have this one already. Uh, this is CJS H01. Looks like a St. Patrick's Day plate. So much that you can do with this one, even not St. Patrick's, like using the uh, rainbow and using the uh, plaid thing is good. This one here, this one is Tulip CJS 111. This one I know I don't have. I'm pretty sure that they stopped making these really tiny mini plates. So this is the back for the inspiration and then this is the actual plate itself. You could definitely use these three for reverse stamping. So super cool. This one here, I'm pretty sure I have also. This is CGS 194, a daisy plate. So that's what that looks like. And then here's what the actual plate looks like. I really love these full cover ones, honestly. This one here, I don't think I have. I think this is one of the new ones. H76. It must be one of the new ones because it's only the new ones that come with this acrylic thing where you can like put it on your nail and then kind of see what the image would look like. I find that really helpful. So this is H76. This is adorable. Like I love this little rabbit here. And this guy, oh my gosh, he's just so happy. Oh my gosh, and this guy, so adorable. And this is what the actual plate looks like. Honestly, these can be really challenging, not beginner friendly when they're all like clustered together like this. Um, but if you're really like good with stamping, this stuff is like, Oh my gosh, endless opportunities. Okay, so it looks like there's a whole stack more here. Okay, so let's just keep going through. So this one is a lily one. This is number 109. Almost positive I don't have this one. So that is this. That's gorgeous. And then this is what the actual plate looks like. Really super pretty. This one here, this one must be old. This is CJS H02. And it looks like some rabbits and some eggs. Oh, okay. Okay, it looks way cooler on the plate than it does on the inspiration card there. Okay, cool. And then, oh my gosh, look at this one. This is a whole bunch of eggs. This is H64. 
Okay. Cool. That's all yolks, expression, excited. All right. And then this is what the actual plate looks like. I'm sure you could use these faces for a whole bunch of things. Okay, cool. And then we have this recycling plate. This is CGS 183. Another one that I know I don't have. So it has a whole bunch of reduce, reuse, recycle. This would be really cool for like a grungy looking set. You have some trees on there, a bicycle. Cool. And then this is what the actual plate looks like. Oh, that, that hand you could use too. Like a more mystic set. Cool. And then this one I know I saw on the website recently as being a new one. This is CJS 340. Oh, I love that. It says, let's get wild. Don't mind if I do. These are really cool. If you know me, you know I love the abstract look. So like these types of things like really fit the vibe. And then here's what the plate looks like. So a lot that you can do on here if you only want to do one layer, like something like this would be really nice on um, like a plain like nude nail. So really excited to put that to work. This one here I also saw was a new one, number 334. I don't know if this is like a watercolor or something. I feel like I remember that being the name for this one. But this is CJS334. Really, really super cool. I love the Monstera leaves on there. Another one like with a lot of abstract images to use, which is great. And then here's what the actual plate looks like. So if you're really into reverse stamping, watercoloring, something like this is just absolutely perfect. And this one, that's a really nice plate. Okay, and this next one is new, I believe, also. This is CGS 335. Okay, yeah, I love, love like this. Wow, this. I love those things on the nail. Even this one is so pretty. This, I would say, of all the ones I've hauled so far, this is honestly my favorite. Wow, gorgeous. And then this is what the actual plate looks like. Like, look how much inspiration you can take from just this plate alone if you're into abstract obviously if you're not then this looks a little messy but i just oh i love that style plate okay and then this one here is cgs 83 and this is a whole bunch of letters this would be really great for somebody who's getting married and they wanted to put their new surname on like their ring finger or something that would be really cool and then this is what the actual plate looks like a little bit more abstract cool and then this next one here i'm almost positive i have so i don't want to open it but this is cjs xl2 yeah i know i have this one because i've used this one before this these plates are meant specifically for longer nails which is nice and then you have like these extra little flowers for like any any size nail so you see how much you can do with this you can use like just this just this just this so 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 much you can do with this and then let's look at the rest of the goodies so it looks like we have some white coffin swatch sticks i'm not sure why white specifically but i'm sure there's a method to the madness oh and it looks like there's more polishes this is a green one does it say this says green tea trio so that's nice okay so we have yeah, these are our collections. So this is number 156. Honestly, doesn't this just give matcha? Okay, and then 157. A lot more pale. Kind of like a kind of like a neon pastel. And then number 158. Nice like sagey green. I feel like I have this one already. A beautiful sagey green. This is great because they're giving us so much um like greenery plates and then the next thing that we have here looks like a lotion maybe shea butter hand and body lotion strawberry champagne and this is natural concepts limited let's see what it says here okay okay so i guess this is the information for natural Con concepts limited Let's give it a smell. It says strawberry, strawberry, what is it? Strawberry champagne? Ooh, that is pretty. I don't wanna put this on now because I'm, actually, maybe I should. I wanna see, is it gonna get greasy? Is it gonna make my hand greasy? Let's find out. Oh, this is thick. You see how thick that is? 
She thick, multiple C's. Ooh, wow. Okay. Okay, this, as I'm rubbing it in, you can, oh, you can smell it so much more. Okay. Oh, okay. So, still more to go in here. Can you believe that? So, okay, my hands are still a little, still a little wet. I probably put too much. So this next one here, this is a little spray bottle. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile um, because I already have one of these from my last mystery box. And it looks like they gave me some watercolor again. I did a watercolor set recently and I wish I had recorded it. I have to get better at recording the nail sets that I'm doing, but I always forget. But I did like a really nice watercolor set recently. Like it was a Al Pastelli like Eastery one. And um, I really like the way that it turned out. And I don't even think I have a picture. Okay. See, the, I should have listened to my... Oh, wow. Okay. So this is Shimmer Solid Watercolor Flower. Really pretty. I love that they have this pop of green in here. And then otherwise, like, pinks and purples. This is going to be really nice to put into action. This is now my third watercolor palette from Clear Jelly. And I think all of them have been um, shimmers. And then this next one here, this is a sticky pad. This stuff is so good. I know a lot of people use lint rollers and stuff like that, but I really enjoy these sticky pads. And then the next thing that they gave me, I saw this on the website as part of the new releases also. This is a metal um, stamper. I got a red one and a rose gold one in other ones. So they give you the same like card and then, yep, yeah, that's good. So kind of like the big bling, you can see through it. It kind of like magnifies, I find when you have this like clear piece. So that is that. And then it looks like we got a glitter from Nail Techniques. Nail Techniques is a really great uh, nail supply store. They sell professional and um, like non-professional products. And this is a really gorgeous glitter that they gave here. Wow, blue and silver and a teal. And it looks like you have small, or, well, I guess like, yeah, small, medium, large and fine glitters in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the next thing that we have in here are some of these socks. I've gotten this three times and um, honestly, I've never used them, but they're a cute touch. Does this say the brand on here? This is label 143. So I'm not sure if there's like a website for this company or what, but that's what they included. And then, oh my gosh, I was so hoping for this. I got the set last time that came with like six brushes, I think. And I used the watercolor one and I really, really, really liked it. But it was kind of annoying. I was switching between so many different colors and I was like, man, I wish I could find another one just like this. And I was looking on AliExpress, but I couldn't find something with like exactly this head. All the ones that I could find were wider for like um, acrylic 3D flowers. So really super stoked to have another one of these. And then the next thing that we have here, I bought this from Maniology years ago. This is a cleanup brush with a really tiny stamper on it. Uh, my Maniology one I broke, I glued it back together. So if you're really trying to do like really tiny stuff, see the, the head on this one is so small, you know? So give that a whirl, why not? And then here's a cleanup brush. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, I thought for sure that this was going to be angled. Like, is it? Mmm, I gotta try this as a cleanup brush and then maybe try it as a watercolor brush. But that's really cool and it has a branding and everything. Awesome. So honestly, I'm really happy with this box. I'm happy with the extras that they gave. I really like this cream. Now that my hands have dried down, they feel like really, really nice. I'm happy with all of the stamping polishes that I got, like a really, really great variety. Great for this time of year. Always happy to get extra stampers. Always happy to get the books and this stuff and the sticky pads, like having that in like, I think basically every uh, mystery box I've gotten recently has been like honestly really great i haven't had to pick up anything uh from clear jelly stamper in a while as far as like a backup this glitter i really like this glitter it's so pretty um but yeah that is everything thank you so 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 much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this if you did i hope you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time and as always have an amazing day bye